Hi. Now, in the first part of this question, we've got to find the gradient of the line L then, which has equation 3x minus 5y minus 20 equals 0. And to find the gradient, what we've got to be aware of is that any line has the form y equals mx plus c. And when it's in this form, m represents the gradient. Okay, we'll just put that down that m is essentially the gradient. The c part, not that we're interested in it in this particular question, but the c part is where the line intersects the y-axis. That's when x is naught, y would equal c. Anyway, to find out the gradient then, what we need to do is take our equation and rearrange it. So we've got 3x minus 5y minus 20 equals 0. And what I'm going to do is add 5y to both sides because it's negative. So that gives us 3x minus 20 equals 5y. And then I just need to divide both sides by the 5. If I do that, I'm going to get y equals, and here, because I've got two terms, rather than put it all over 5, we just divide each of the two terms by 5. So we're going to get 3 fifths x, okay, and then we've got minus 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So we can see, therefore, the m value, the value in front of the x, is the gradient, and that gradient is going to equal 3 fifths. Okay, so just summarize there. Therefore, the gradient equals 3 fifths. Now, in part 2, we're told that the line L crosses the x-axis at P and the y-axis at Q, and we've got to find the coordinates of the midpoint of PQ. Well, when any line crosses the x-axis, then its y-coordinate will be equal to 0. And so at P, we know that the y-coordinate must be 0. So we've got y equals 0. And if we set y equal to 0 in here, we're just going to have 3x minus 20 equals 0. So therefore, 3x minus 20 equals 0. And if we rearrange this for x, therefore 3x must equal 20, if we add 20 to both sides. And if I divide both sides by 3, x must be equal to 20 over 3, 20 thirds, okay? And I'll leave it like that, rather than representing it as a mixed fraction. Okay, now we need to get the coordinates of Q. The line crosses the y-axis at Q. So at Q, we would expect the x value to be equal to 0. So if we substitute x equals 0 into here, this term will go out to 0, just leaving us with minus 5y minus 20 must equal 0. And if we rearrange this by, say, adding 5y to both sides, we'd have minus 20 equals 5y, or 5y equals minus 20. And if I now divide both sides by 5, you end up with y equaling minus 20 divided by 5, which is minus 4. So we've got our coordinates of P and Q. Look, if I just draw a sketch over here, we can see what's going on. So we've got our x-axis, we've got our y-axis, and we've got the point P. Its y-coordinate is 0, and the x-coordinate is 23rd. So we'll just say that P is here. P has coordinates 23rds and comma 0, OK? Whereas at Q, that's when x is naught, it intersects the y-axis at negative 4. So we'll just put q down here at negative 4. So we've got our line going through the minus 4 and the p. Well, just missed it, but hopefully you get the idea. That's the line L. Now we've got to find the coordinates of the midpoint of pq. So we're looking then at a point here. 
And to get the midpoint of any two coordinates, all we need to do is just find the mean of those, the, the x coordinates and the y coordinates. So let's just put that down here, that therefore the midpoint, we'll abbreviate this just midpoint, okay, of PQ. Well, we've just got to add together the two x coordinates and divide by two or just halve them. So what we've got is 20 thirds and the x coordinate here is zero. So we just got a half of 20 thirds. That's the mean of the x coordinate. And now for the mean of the y coordinates, we would add zero with the y coordinate here, which was minus four. So you've got a half of minus four or minus four divided by two, same thing, okay? So when you work that out, a half of the 20 is 10, so you're going to get 10 over three, 10 thirds there, and then if we halve negative four, that's gonna be minus two. And having a drawing here just helps to check that that looks sensible, and indeed it does. So there's our midpoint, okay?